Ilkay, this is an end of season FIFA versus special. We're going to be quizzing you on your Man City teammates' FIFA stats. So what do you like at FIFA? Do you play much? Recently, I haven't played much, to be honest. Um, when it always comes out, of course, um, you get kind of addiction because yeah. you want to try the new one, you know, and uh, try all the skills. Getting too busy at the time and um, I don't play anymore. Yeah, you are busy, got a lot of games, of course. Uh, this is your foot item. What are your thoughts on your rating? Yeah, I mean, overall 84. I just remember that I was 85 last season, so obviously when you when you are downgraded, um, <laughs> you always feel bad, kind of bad. Uh, but all right, it's something I have to accept. And uh, <laughs> 80, 84 is quite quite okay. You accept and, it. And I know that uh, when you play ultimate team, you know when yeah. you when you're on the team of the week, you always get um, yes um, upgrades. Exactly. Yeah. So um, there is always a, a chance to upgrade yourself. You yeah. know. So um, it's it's in my hands as well. Um, so that gives me always kind of a good feeling. I love that. <laughs> and looking at your individual ones, any ones that you're a bit unhappy with? I know I'm not the, 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 the quickest player um, on earth, um, but I mean, 68 is yeah. kind of slow. Um, but uh, interestingly, I, I saw stats of some other players and they are below 50. And yeah. I'm, I was like, oh my God, <laughs> okay. So um, maybe I should be fine just with 68 and uh, shouldn't complain too much. Okay, right, <laughs> let's get going. Who is the highest rated player overall at Manchester City on FIFA 19? Is it Kevin? Kevin De Bruyne? It is Kevin De Bruyne. 92? 91. 91. Yeah, I mean, that is, that is incredible, isn't it? 91. It um, is, yeah. Kevin De Bruyne, fantastic player. We've done this feature with him, incidentally, as well. Um, how disappointing has it been for him this season? Because he's, he's been so short, cut short his game plan because of injury, hasn't it? It must be really disappointing for him this season. It is indeed. I mean, I had also um, a few injuries. Um, unfortunately, I was always out for, for quite long. Fortunately for, for him and for us, not these long-term injuries. He, I'm sure he will, be, he will be able to bounce back um, impressively. Yeah, well said. So he's the highest rated player overall on FIFA 19. Who do you think should be the highest rated player on FIFA 20 when that comes out? Um, that's, a, that's a tough question. I mean, I could say um, the most improved player um, could be Bernardo Silva, in my opinion, okay. because he had an incredible season this year. But I have no idea who could be the 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 best the, the best one i mean maybe maybe sergio next year uh, because he's now the club's leading goal scorer yeah. broken and so many records sergio exactly Guerrero, isn't he? so i could imagine that um, him is going to take over kevin's spot because also his struggles um, in that season but i have no idea fifa fifa is always able to surprise us yeah that's one for fifa to worry about right <laughs> okay we've asked this to a few man city players and I want to get your take on this because this is not an easy one to answer. According to FIFA 19, who do you think is the fastest player at Man City? Uh, according to FIFA 19, I mean, I think it sh should be should be Leroy, to be honest. Um, Correct. But... It is Leroy Sané. Is it? Yeah. 95. Ah, I was just going to say, I'm, I'm not sure if he's also the on FIFA. Um, the. Highest rated. Uh, Who else player. were you thinking of? What other players were you I thought mind? FIFA maybe put uh, Raheem or Kyle a little bit in front. Well, you're, you're right. You're right in, in terms of those three being the top three. Carl Walker, 90. Raheem Sterling, second, 93. But they've given it to Leroy Sane, fastest with 95. So you yeah. agree with that? I would agree with that, yeah. That's, okay. a, that's, that's a good solution. You've played with a lot of fast players in your career, not only for Man City, but for yeah. Germany as well, and the likes of Aubameyang with yeah. Dortmund as well. What, what is, is Aubameyang? You, do you know that? I'll have to get back to you on that Is he 94 one. maybe? I think it's close, yeah. yeah. So it, for yeah, you, who is the quickest player that you've played with in your career? I feel like it's Aubameyang, to be honest. Do you? But maybe also because when Leroy starts running, it, it looks so, so easy, so simple, you know? And that's why maybe he's sometimes on the pitch, he doesn't look that quick. Aubameyang was like, he was just ridiculously yeah. fast. And I thought there's 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 no human in the, on this earth. <laughs> it's not human. Um, no human. No on this earth uh, who's quicker than him. But um, yeah, I don't know. Surprise he, that Leroy is so quick. It's good for us as, as midfielders who are not that paceful, <laughs> um, but who have uh, passing ability and dribbling ability yeah. to have someone like him, you know, to just give the ball. Complement each other's game well. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Next up, who is the only player at Man City with five star skills? Oh, one is player it, in the Man City skills. Is it David Silva? Not David Silva. Wow. Mm. 
It's not David Silva. Then it's one of the one of the front three. Then I guess it's an attacking player. Yeah. Do you want me to tell you? Yeah, please. Riyad Mahrez. Oh, really? Yeah. Does that, wow. su that surprise you? That surprised me. I didn't expect that to be honest. I mean, he's very skillful. Yeah. Uh, don't get me wrong. But um, I didn't expect that from FIFA. Okay. Who then is the most skillful player in training? Obviously, I'm not going to ask you who the best player at Man City is because there's so many top players. But in terms of technical ability and skills in training, look for, for me. Skillful doesn't mean you're doing tricks and uh, doing all this. For me, it's sometimes a little bit <laughs> to be honest. Okay. Um, <laughs> but um, in terms of the perfect control, yeah. the perfect second touch, you know, the perfect pass. Yeah, David Silva is, is impressive in, in terms of that. And that's yeah. something that I that I like to appreciate more than doing step overs right. and you know like all this all this stuff. So um, for me it's about clean actions, you know? Yeah. A very intelligent player David Silva as well, isn't he? His reading of the game is just unbelievable. Yeah, he's just able to to keep the ball against the strongest players, you know, and um, always does the right decision in terms of turning to the right or to the left or to control the game, to hold the ball a little bit longer, you know. Um, of course, also because of his experience, um, but um, a lot is also intelligence. One of the best players you've ever played with in your career, David Silva? Yeah, definitely one of the best players, yeah. Okay, uh, two players we, we mentioned earlier with the same name who play in similar positions, but who the FIFA 19 think is better at dribbling David or Bernardo Silva? Bernardo, I would say. Bernardo Silva, 89. David Silva, 91. Oh, wow. So you think that's that's wrong? No, the way you asked me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I tricked you with the question. We were speaking about David and then the way, you, you? Okay, the, way, okay. the way you asked me, I thought, ah, then, it's, then it's Bernardo. No, I'm not trying to, to be... trick you any, in any uh, of these. Okay, okay. Oh, no. okay. Uh, I got it then. Um, no, but both are quite similar. I mean, Bernardo also technically is, is incredible especially about in, in, in terms of what I've just explained, you yeah. know, like David. So, um, yeah, I would, I would rate them on the same level, to be honest. OK, uh, this is interesting because we spoke about this earlier, that FIFA give players upgraded cards, as you know, for great performances and awards during the season. So which player's rating has improved the most from the start of the season until now? Is it Bernardo, maybe? Not no. Bernardo. Not Bernardo. Which player's rating has improved the uh, most? Raheem. Raheem, Raheem Sterling, Raheem. yeah. Started this season 85 rated and he has a 96 rated Young Player of the Year card. I presume you think that is thoroughly deserved, that award that Raheem won. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just not sure if, he, if you can consider him still young. I mean, he's, uh, is he 24 already? Yeah, a lot of people are saying that. It's, it's, kind, of, it's that... kind of weird. Eh? <laughs> I thought like young is until 21, maybe 22. Yeah. Uh, so you were surprised to hear him win that because of his age, you mean? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> You said that to him. For me, like, I mean, don't get me wrong, he's, he's still young, but yeah. um, I don't know, um, maybe also the fact that he was uh, considered to be um, not the young player of the year, also player of the year, yeah. um, just, um, I don't know, um, irritates a little bit. But, um, I mean, the fact that he had an incredible season yeah. is, is, is definitely, uh, def definitely true and um, hopefully he will maintain the level for next season as well because yeah, a, we need that. He's had an amazing season, both on and off the pitch as well. He's, he's become a real role model, hasn't he, for younger players coming through? I'm quite sure he, he, became, he, he became one, yeah. Um, when I met him the first day, uh, I was already um, very surprised um, how gentle he is, you know, and how, how nice he is also to, to deal with, you know. And um, now he was able to show also, I think, the, the public yeah. um, this side of his, of his personality and um, people start to get um, what Raheem Sterling is about. And um, that's obviously sometimes a greater achievement than, than what you do on the pitch, you know? Yeah. Well said. Who did you vote for, for PFA Player of the Year? I, th I think I fought for Mane. Did you? Sadio yeah. Mane? Yeah, I think I fought for him. Because obviously you can't vote for Fellow yeah, exactly. Of course. Who, who would you have voted for if you were allowed to vote for a Man City player? I think I would have voted for 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 Raheem Raheem, yeah. as well. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is interesting. I saw a tweet that you put out just over a month ago, uh, 
where you picked your favourite players from each country, the likes of Ronaldo, Messi. Why are you smiling? Yeah, <laughs> because yeah, I'm concerned about what's coming now. Okay, no, no, nothing, nothing. Um, the likes of Ronaldo, Messi, Zidane and Shearer were mentioned. Um, so if you were in charge of FIFA 20 ratings, who would you rate higher out of Messi and Ronaldo? Of course, Messi. Messi? Then, yeah, no doubt about that. Okay, but the, I agree with you as well. I'm Messi over Ronaldo, but a lot of people are Ronaldo over Messi. So there's no question for you. In no, the no, no, there's no question for me. It's, I mean, don't, like Cristiano Ronaldo is one of a kind. Is um, is also someone that we may not, um, yeah, um, get to see again um, in like 20, 30 years. There will be no one like Cristiano Ronaldo, I think. Um, but what Messi is doing is for me just out of this world. And um, yeah, it's just it's just pure talent. And uh, when pure talent. Um, collides with um, yeah the desire you know to win, then it's Lionel Messi. Ilkay, thank you very much for your time. Really enjoyed that. Thank we'll you. speak to FIFA about your pace. Please. <laughs> Thanks.